Tea Tuesday. It's Chai Tea Tuesday, but I have water. What do you have? I have water too. Dang. It's right here. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get a chai tea later because we're in New York. Yes. And I mean, I've been eating for days here because when you travel and you're in a new place, not that this is new, but I'm like, oh. But you wanna try the food. restaurants. And yes. You're on the go so much. So the moment you get a break to like consume some food, yeah. you're just You like, just want all of it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna talk about Miss USA stuff. I was Miss USA 2014. This is your reigning Miss USA. Ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> the weather changing. <laughs> yes, um, Kyra McCullough. Yes. Yes, okay, and she has been Miss USA for almost an entire year. When were you crowned? May 15th. Okay, and talk about like, life is Miss USA, things you learn after the fact, the sisterhood, all of that. Right. So I feel like when I was Miss USA, by the end of the year, I was finally like, Okay, now I know how to be Miss USA. Hold on, can I do it over again? Like, yeah. how, what's your experience in that, like, kind of world? I think that was the same mindset I had graduating college, mm -hmm. playing basketball, yep. um, like, being a scientist in the government. Like, it transposes across everything. Yep. So, I think oftentimes, like, when we first get into this role, it's it's new. Mm -hmm. We don't know what to expect. Yep. And, um you know, luckily for someone like Mia and Deshaun and Olivia Jordan, I feel like we're really close as friends. We are. And mm -hmm. we're keeping like the sisterhood alive. So I was able to to have references and confide in them, but still like it's the end of the year and you finally realize, now I know what I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah. And I think <laughs> I felt um, the same way. And it's you know, it's it's unfortunate, but like I know I had an amazing year. So I think to to anyone in life that's pursuing something mm -hmm. Uh, at the beginning of it, like write down a clear objective of everything that you want to yes. do with your year. Like, what do you want to accomplish, mm -hmm. and and how you want to impact the world. Yeah. And then, like, of course, that's going to change as often as possible. <laughs> Is that here? Okay. Oh, oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Of course, it's going to change as often as possible, mm -hmm. but but really, like, sit down and figure out what you want to do. Just have a clear yeah. objective. It's going to help. It totally helps because then you can like be focused, and even though you're still learning and growing. Yeah. through the process you have like more of like, I feel like it's kind of like a good base to jump off of absolutely. You know what, I mean? absolutely. what are like other things that people don't realize that like the role of Miss USA carries if like for me I would tell people I don't think you realize watching it from afar how much of a full-time job it is yes. and how exhausted you are all yes, the time seriously what do you think there's um, so many things people don't know because they they're don't. not they don't know the behind the scenes no they don't they think it's just a year of walking around with makeup and dresses on, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> we have holes in our mouth too, okay? <laughs> so, no, I, I really, I think like a lot of people get the misconception, like you said, that it's just, it's just something to kind of just, you know, write down your resume as, right. as a part-time job. Like, mm -hmm. no, like, we are at events and mm -hmm. we are we are ambassadors for an organization. So we have to be marketers at the end of the day as yep. well because it's not just about us, it's the ones that come after us as well. So we're yes. upholding a legacy. Yes. And, um, oh my gosh, I am so tired. But the thing is, <laughs> I think I, I'm still tired. I, I was Miss USA yeah. three years ago. <laughs> I will say my days are longer now as Miss USA mm -hmm. than my previous job, but mm -hmm. I'm not as tired then because there's more passion in this mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. So the fatigue definitely comes from me staying up all night, like mm -hmm. contacting people, looking at Instagram and all those ugly comments y'all like to leave. <laughs> oh, we ain't got time for that. No, no, it's true. It and, happens. And honestly, and, that, and that's another thing. Oh. Like, there's so much pressure and mm -hmm. I can be completely honest right now to say that before Miss Universe I kind of lost myself mm -hmm. I can happen. you know I looked at the comments mm -hmm. on Instagram and oh she's not sexy enough she mm -hmm. can't be Miss Universe she's not even worthy of Miss USA everybody has an opinion and it's and, so annoying and even at 26 I allowed something like that to alter mm -hmm. my my viewpoint of something that I wanted to pursue in life yeah. so at, at Miss Universe I kind of felt like I lost myself and mm -hmm. I think that's another thing that people don't realize that oh we have these titles we're the most confident people in the world oh, people always think that Mm -hmm. But we do listen to our, you know, the people that follow us. I don't right. use the word term like fan, but mm -hmm. we listen to the people that, that we know we want feedback from. Right. And it kind of goes to the head. So, yeah. um, like I said, to the next one as well, like, just be strong in your foundation and your conviction. Mm -hmm. Like, be you. Yes. No one can tell you how to be you. Yeah, it's so true because everybody has an opinion. Everybody throws stuff your way and they say, you should do this. Like, I had... I don't even want to say this out loud, but we, we all know. I was Miss USA during Trump's time. So, like, even, like, things, like, when he came up with his comments about Mexicans, I was like, you prove him wrong or right. I don't know. Like, give, give away your credit. Like, you know, give up the crown. You show him who's boss. And I'm like, 
You can't tell me what to do, first of all. Like, I don't know, just everybody has an opinion on everything. I yeah. got, I, I mean, I grew up very just American, knowing like my German background and my Mexican background and all of that. But I have people say like, you're not, you don't represent our country, you Mexican. And I'm like, who are you? Right. <laughs> you it's know, or people saying funny. like, she's too wholesome or she's too sexy, like depending on an appearance, like everybody has an opinion. You can't please everybody. So everybody. like you said, like just be true to yourself. And, yeah. and like kind of how you said from the beginning, like write down your objectives while also like if it helps, write down who you are and who you want to be and like yeah. stick to that. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. That's kind of I feel like Yeah, it. I know. It's true. It's so true. It's unfortunate yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> and we kind of, we kind of talked about being tired. We like hit that a little bit. Right. So like get tired all the time. Yeah. All the time. I would literally, I'm not even exaggerating. I was tired for like a year. I was like trying to catch up for like a year or two. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So get ready. You might still be tired. Even when you're done, you're like, oh, I'm done. Yeah. Why am I still Why tired? Why am I still tired? <laughs> I will say like I start my days like super early too. Do you? But at night, when it's time to go to bed, I crash. Yes. I fall asleep on the phone and the yeah. little text messages. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I wake up the next day and I'm like, let's go. Let's go. So you're a morning person. <laughs> I'm, yes. Okay. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. That's good. I hear the most successful people in the world wake up between 5 and 6 a.m. Like that's okay. the thing, right? Yeah. So you're an early riser. <laughs> that's good. And hello, she's coming from the West Coast to the East Coast. Oh that's my gosh. a struggle. Okay? It's a struggle. I'm yes. like 8 a.m. like, oh, how do I wake up? Right. Like, whatever. Hilarious. It's fine. Another thing I learned was how to pack oh yeah I did not know how to pack like, really I used to pack so much crap that I didn't need uh -huh. I would overpack but I learned Essentials. to car compartmentalize everything uh -huh. so I have like something just for like my undergarments yeah. for my t-shirts for my smart. jeans um, all my makeup fits in one like little travel bag. Yeah. All my toiletries fit in one travel bag. Okay. Yeah. So. so travel like best packing advice. Just like yeah. have every like what is it? Yeah, you just put everything like you can go to, like Amazon and get these like you know separating bags. And yes. I have shoe bags. Oh, amazing. It helps too, especially when you're going to events rather than mm -hmm. like getting like something extra to stuff your shoes into your purse. Right. Right. You carry around this stylish shoe bag and nobody knows. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaking of packing advice, something that I do and it's a little bit out of laziness, but also. So, like convenience I take all my clothes on hangers like my hangers from home it doesn't help with like space at all but literally I grab all my clothes on hangers I put them in the suitcase and then I get to my hotel and I pull it out and I hang it up Very true. it's just like you know the nice stuff yeah. De definitely do that yeah I mean I like my you know jeans yeah. like a casual t-shirt but if I have dresses and I have outfits I'm like I'm just gonna hang them up yeah and I will say like before this I would never like unpack fully in a hotel mm -hmm. now I, I take everything yep. stuff and in drawers yep. I'm like this Me is too. my home home <laughs> even if it's two days it's my home exactly. in two days yeah, exactly exactly I have a question for you. I haven't yeah. even seen your room, which was my room. It's kind of weird. Like we're all like, oh, we've slept in the same bed. We yeah. had the same room. Bed's like different now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to go check it something out. Something happened to it. Oh. <laughs> um, well, the bed was definitely breaking a lot during my year, okay. but not because of things you guys might think. You nasty people. If you're like, why is the bed breaking? I woke up one morning like on the floor. <laughs> so <laughs> one day I was like, you know what? I want to sleep on the opposite side of the bed today. <laughs> I jumped over. I was like, oh no. Oh, it's terrible. It's bad. Like literally. Oh, yeah. it's so bad. So, okay. There's a new bed now. Yeah, this nothing is, is made to last forever. I guess. So, but apparently. You know, new beginnings. Yes. Um, I'm in the middle of packing, but I don't mind showing her. Okay. My room. Can just her. Take only. a peek. Yeah, Nobody you guys, else. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll take a peek. Um, cool. So yeah, the we, walls were different. The walls were different. Like everything's different. This is my first time here since Olivia's year. <clears throat> I didn't really come to New York during Deshauna's year. I just didn't have work here. But yeah, I came in. I was like, oh, these walls used to be red. We used to have bookshelves. Like it's a whole, uh -huh. whole same thing. apartment. Same apartment. Okay. A whole different layout. But y'all are lucky. Like. This is a three bedroom, three bath, like spacious apartment. Yeah. I'm like, can I get an apartment in this building, please? Hello. This is so beautiful. I was like, is there a transition program? I will yes. stay in a hotel below and chaperone right, right. Yeah. for a year. Just just chaperone. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, small side note. Okay, any other final thoughts? I don't want to take up too much of your time. Yeah, I know. Miss USA thoughts. Um, okay. I know people always ask you this. I was like, let's not talk about things that everybody asks you about, but okay. piece of advice for like the next Miss USA, which I know you're already gonna give her advice because we are a very close sisterhood and we talk and we are there for each other, yeah. but just a piece of advice. Maybe someone that wants to be Miss USA and wants to know what you would say. Uh, you know, we already said it, like mm -hmm. have objectives, mm -hmm. have a clear idea, like you're not going to know at the beginning, but really lock yourself in a room one day, mm -hmm. clean sheet of paper, 
pencil so you can or pen so you can cross everything out yep. and just have like you know a list of um, 25 reasons why you were qualified to be Miss mm. USA why you have it yes, um, so good. 10 goals you want to accomplish during your year mm -hmm. and um, also just write little notes to yourself every day like let yourself you know yeah. remind yourself how powerful you are mm -hmm. how much you're on a pedestal like yes take every moment to absorb this little girls are looking up to you like I you know at the end of the day Miss USA the Miss Universe organization is held at one of the highest standards like mm -hmm. this is a crown that so many people desire yeah so just uphold that legacy and don't be afraid to praise your accomplishments um, I've always been very very coy when it came to talking about the things that I do in life or, mm -hmm. or things I've accomplished but people want to hear that they want to yeah. know your story they they want to say like Oh, you, you, my daughter looks up to you. you oh. You're a curly, you're a scientist, you're, you're, you know, you're into like music, uh, movie productions and everything. Yeah. And you do Chai Tea Tuesdays. Like you, you inspire my daughter when she mm -hmm. looks at your, your YouTube channel. Like parents love that. And those mm -hmm. are the ones that are investing in their children because Whitney Houston always said it. The children are the future. So. Yes, it's so true. And it's yeah. so beautiful. Like we've been at events together, like stay in Mexico. And yeah. I remember seeing so many little girls at different times come up to Kyra. And I want to just say, I think it's so beautiful to have girls of all different backgrounds and ethnicities, a cute little like Caucasian girl, a cute little black girl, like yeah. everybody looks up to her because you're such a good example. And I think that's so beautiful that you're someone that everyone can look up to and everybody can want to be like, so yay. Okay. I think we're done. I'm like, I, don't, I can't think there's anything else we should talk about, but we talked about a lot. If you want to watch Miss USA, Kyra's giving up her crown so soon. So when and where is that? Do you know? Yeah, so about? May 21st on Fox, mm -hmm. Shreveport, Bossier, Louisiana. We yep. will have Nick and Vanessa Lachey hosting. Yes, and I've met them I before. They're wonderful. Spilled too many beans, but. Oh, there's uh, more exciting things. Yeah. Yay. Okay, I Maybe can't wait. I should, no. Maybe you'll but. have to whisper <laughs> to me and I won't put it yeah. on camera. Okay. But no, I, I will say I'm excited for the teens to participate too. Yeah. You know, it's just an opportunity for them to like bond with their sisters more, have totally. more fun. So I know a lot of people have negative things to say about it, mm -hmm. but I think it's a good time for the teens to, to have it together with the misses. But go to MissUSA.com <laughs> to find out the full details for the uh, final show, which is going to be on May 21st yes. on Fox. Da, da, da. Okay, hold on, we have to cheers. Cheers. Oh, I have a very ugly cup. That's okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. To Chai Tea Tuesdays. <laughs> Even though we don't have Chai Tea today, it's okay. Bye, guys.